Hi, this is Tammy, and I'm back for the November calendar. And we already started it on my previous video that I did. This is a Venetian romance in the uh, punch in the background. It's the number one. And again, you do that by hitting uh, punches. And uh, once you select the this punch in the back, you hit paper fill and select Venetian Romance number one. Inside, we've got a photo box. Um, go over to the resource palette here on the left. Go down and select the very vanilla, drag that in. And then you want to come back over here and select your mat and select a soft suede number one mat and then double click on the calendar to uh, select soft suede for the days and the numbers. Now we're ready to move on so I'm going to select uh, stamps and I am going to go to thoughtful overlays. We've used this a lot in this class but it works real good with the calendar and I'm going to uh, go ahead and bring that over and rotate it and then scale it down. That's probably too much. Um, and I want to say that, yeah, I had to crop this. I know we've done this before, but I'm going to show you again how to, oops, I just can't quite get that the right size. I think it must be about right there. Then use your keyboard to get it kind of in the right spot. Um, but it's just a little too short. Yeah, it's a little too short. So we're going to go over here and crop it and uh, just kind of go about like that and hit OK. Ah, oh, darn it. Now I have to reposition it. Seems like if you do crop the bottom, it stays put. But when you do the top, it moves around like that. Just something to remember. Now I'm going to change the color of this. And you can use uh, pistachio pudding. Um, you know, I think that's what I did. Yeah, let's just do that. Go ahead and put a drop shadow on it too. All right, now I am going to copy and paste it. Control C, Control V, and I am going to flip it. No, mirror it. I always get those wrong. Okay, and stick it on the bottom. And you may want to uh, change your view so you can really get this precise, but once you get it lined up, um, you're going to want to hit your shift key so that you highlight both the top and the bottom and then say arrange group. All right, so the next step is to go to our embellishments in the resource palette and we're going to go to delicate adornments and stick on this piece of lace. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, scratch that. I forgot a step. Go back to the stamps. We're going to go to um, Lovely Romance first. I almost forgot the most important part, which is to teach you how to do the faux embossing. Where is that? Let's see. Okay, right here. Okay. So what, we, what I did here for the background is I brought over this stamp and I copied it four times, control C, control V, and one more time. So got this down here and right here. And you know, you're going to want to align it probably a little better than what I'm doing here, but um, kind of get it so that looks right and then go ahead and hit your shift key and highlight every single one and we're going to change the color to vanilla and you're going to say 
why in the world would you do that? It's all going to disappear. Well, now what we're going to do is give it a drop shadow, but instead of a black drop shadow, I'm going to change this. And usually you go a shade lighter. I'm actually going to pick soft suede for this one. You could try craft or even um, Sahara sand. Uh, play around with it, but for this video, I kind of want to be able to see this. And so I'm going to bring it up to 50% because I found I was having a hard time seeing it. And then hit OK. And you can see it's really delicate, looks super pretty and lacy. I really like that. And then I am going to group that and go back over to my layers and I'm going to move that down below the calendar numbers. All right, now we can go to the embellishments and bring over that lace that I was going to do before. And we definitely have to bring this way down. It's too big. So we'll just keep working on that. And you're going to want to crop that to maybe about I'm going to say four of these little lace pieces. Make sure you push it up real good so you get um, the whole piece of lace. Hit OK. And let's bring that over and I'm actually going to just kind of size it to make it work here. Yeah, that works. And put a drop shadow behind that. Okay. Now we're going to want to go to the labels in your punches and that's this one, yeah, decorative labels. And again, since we want to put some paper in this and it's a punch, we go over to the punches in the resource palette and we hit paper fill. And this time, I want to say it's this one on the bottom, yes. Hit OK, number 9. And double click on that and you can zoom in or zoom out. I zoomed out a little bit. And I also put a mat around it, little tiny mat of Island Indigo. I think that's that one right there. So number one, Island Indigo, and a drop shadow. Okay, that's it for that. Now we're going to go to that oval punch, which is under basics. And uh, that is right here, the oval punch. So you're gonna wanna make it a little bit bigger Yeah, that looks about right. And we're going to fill that color, fill it over here in the resource palette with very vanilla. And again, I put a small little mat on it. Um, oops, I forgot to change the color. So I'm going to make that island indigo. Okay, and I put a drop shadow on it. And let's see, now let's go back to those embellishments and we're going to put a couple of these flowers on. There's one down here. And then go ahead and, oh wait, put a drop shadow on it. And then copy, control C, control V, and stick it, the one up here too. And then I also use this button here. You can see that it's a slightly different color, though, than what I have on my example. And um, what I did was recolor that to Island Indigo. So, uh, okay, hang on a second. So I clicked on the button, and I went over here to Recolor Embellishment, and I selected Island Indigo. Hit OK. Makes it a little darker, gives it a little bit more of a, a matching um, sort of
sorry, I meant to put a drop shadow there. Uh,